and welcome back to our Worship Warriors of the World channel. Thanks for tuning in. You guys are going to see me push out a lot of content from here on out, however long it takes, not only in the Davidic dance, but also in the flags. So I already have the, the Davidic dance steps on my last channel. Eventually I will move them here. I just don't have the time to do that at the moment. And my next step is to do the Davidic dance sequences. I initially thought that I was just going to do the sequences all the way through, and then I would move on to the flags. However, that's just not gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and just do both of them at the same time. Especially since in my last tutorial that took you through the entire dance sequence to the flags on um, Huyavo, I made a promise that I was going to do tutorials on the flag. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. And I'm probably just going to rotate based on my time and what I feel like I really need to get out there because we do have a team that we're, we are training at the same time, not just people that we're teaching online. And so here we go. We will be learning the victory wing flag step. It's actually kind of two parts. It's got the victory in the front and then the wing in the back. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now, first, don't make fun of my house, please. <laughs> I feel so privileged that I have a big enough space to be able to show you guys how to do this, but my house is a work in progress. So don't make fun of it. Yes, it looks ugly, ah! but uh, hey, it is what it is right now. And it's going to take some time to get it fully remodeled the way that we want it done. So without further ado, let's take a look at this step. First thing you are going to do is bring the flags up to a reasonable position so that you can cross them in front of your body. It really doesn't matter how you cross them right over the left, left over right. I'm doing right over left, but again, it really doesn't matter. When you are performing this, nobody's really gonna be able to tell the difference. So I really wouldn't worry about it. Next, you are going to then use gravity from there to drop the flags behind you in order to make them look like wings. Now, you want your shoulders and your elbows open. About right here, see how my arm is parallel to the ground, right? They are both in line with each other. This is how you're holding the flag, like this. And you're gonna drop it behind you, behind. A lot of people, they want to do it this way or they wanna do it over their head. Not what you're going for. You want it to look like wings. So you drop it behind your back. I highly recommend you invest in some mirrors so that you can see yourself while you are practicing. The better you can see yourself, the easier it will be to make adjustments so that you actually get it right. Okay, so let's look at that one more time, except we're gonna look at it from the back this time. Just bring your arms up, then you cross them in front of you, and then drop them behind. You're using gravity. Wow, good job, folks. That is the victory wing. Once you get this one down, a lot of them you'll be able to do. There are definitely some more advanced steps but this one is, I would say, more intermediate. And so if you can get this one, I have full confidence that you can get them all. Don't get discouraged. Keep picking those flags up. Keep doing it. You will get it eventually. Don't give up so easily, okay? Just practice, practice, practice. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me or Travis. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day rest of your day. Shalom.